YouTubers, Brian Proctor back again with another video, and this is the Action Pose Position of the Week video number 20. And it's been a minute since I've done um, any Action Pose Position videos, so I have to get back into it. So this is the finished product, so stay with me and see how I came up with this pose. Alright, let's get into it. All right, let's jump into this. Let's get a little bit of uh, archery going, a little green arrow, hawkeye stuff going on here. So first thing, I wanna see how big I can get this. So you want to kind of measure out where you don't want to go past. So these are my two lines here. I don't wanna go past these two lines. Then you fit your body in as best you can. So I don't wanna go this far. So this little box inside the paper, I want to get it this big without it going out. So uh, in my head, I have the idea of what I want. So now I have to kind of rough it out to see if I could actually get it to what I need it to be. So always start with your um, torso. Well, let me get the rough first and then I'll see uh, if I need to shift it a little bit more. So you start with your torso and then I go with my hip, my waist, with your center line down all the way to the crotch, do the house for the crotch, the upside down house, and then you can put your legs. Right off the bat, I can see that this is a little long because he's got too much waist in there because he's going to be leaning over just slightly. So I would say about right here, I'll take that torso down to right here. So you never want to start out drawing dark uh, or bearing down on your paper um, and using a dark pencil like a, a, um, a B pencil. Those are too dark to start rough sketches with because if you have to erase, then you're in a world of trouble. So let's see if I can get the legs. I want the legs. Make, make, make sure it fits to make sure it all fits. So my ground is going to be here. I don't know why I'm spitting. Hungry, maybe. So the leg's going to be about right here with the, the other leg coming under. The heel <coughs> and the foot. So this leg I want, he's going to be uh, basically leaning on this leg. This is where his weight's going to be at. Where his weight's on that one. He's balancing from this leg here. And the one thing is, this is the ground here, so the foot has to be on that ground, which makes that too high. So I would say about right here. So the leg is gonna have to come down about right there. Just little little tips that you, you have to kind of figure out as you go along or that you'll run into as you go along. And that still might be a little high, this part. So let me do this. And I can't do this yet, can because I have my blue pencil. And this is one reason I always do two and three colors. Because when I do so many colors in red and uh, I try to do the line that I want, it's hard to tell it's hard to see where where I am or what I want to do so let's say this way so we're gonna have the head okay this is the point up here the neck comes because this is your V or your neck right here the neck is gonna come here and let's just say the head is going to be down now this is subject to change this is subject to change because I don't even have the hands in yet so you have your, um, your delt here. So you wanna put the hand close to the face. I don't want it really too close. Let's see, maybe under like that. And now it's time to switch back to the red because it's a little darker. In fact, let's just switch to pencil now, pencil, so. And then the arm comes back. It is a lot of glare right here. That's why I cannot see. I'm telling you, you guys might be able to see it, but I can't see. 
So I'm gonna go with a darker pencil. It's just the way my lights are set up. Maybe if I shift my seat a little bit, I'll be able to see, because I'm telling you, it's hard, very hard. So right here, we have this, we have the chest, we have this, and I, I showed people how to do this in the uh, in another video. There's the chest, and this is the, the abs right here that come in and down and around. Now I'm looking at it, <clears throat> and it still might be a little long, but I know I want to take this to the side more. Once you get this torso and your, your hips right, the rest of it is easy. Just adding the legs and so forth. All right, and the arms. So, say this. And let's just say I want to put the hand. You can put the hand like anywhere. You just have to get it to match up. So I want to put the hand, not like he's aiming at you, but not like he's aiming far away. Like put the hand way out here. So this would be the hard part to figure out. So let's just say I'll put the hand right here for now. So you've got to get the wrist, the forearm, the bicep, which goes into the tricep. So the tricep is about right here. So that's going to be the hard part. As it curves around, goes down to the chest, chest comes out, chest might be a little low, but I'm telling you, this glare is ridiculous. Relax and come down, and I'm thinking this guy is going to be a little bit tall, but we'll just keep, because this is a rough sketch, this is a rough sketch for well, now. Because I want the arrow to be more like that. So, and to do um, what's it called? Anytime I start explaining these things, it it, it gets me. Now it's perspective. Yeah, you're doing just ovals, but each cylinder of the arm and the leg takes a different shape when you twist it. It's not just It's not just here's the here's the well, let's just do this here's the arm and here's the fist here's your bicep when you turn it forward like here's your fist here's your thumb you're gonna get this piece here like right here and then you're gonna get this piece like that so everything changes because that muscle comes under if I'm not mistaken this is the, the, the right one and then your bicep it goes, this, this kind of splits your bicep here because it's like a V. It's going to be kind of like that. And then your um, delt, which is going to cover that. So it's going to be more like that. Maybe you'll see some, some tricep. But the more you turn it forwards, the, the more different of a shape it'll, it'll get. And you probably won't see much bicep. And then your triceps like that, and here's your thumb. So this part right here being the widest, you, would, you wouldn't see this because it's so narrow. You'd see this, and we'll take that shape. The bicep is not as wide as this because it's more of a, a round like that. And then it comes out to your chest. So when you turn that down, like that, it becomes more narrow. So you would have something like this. The bicep is gonna, the tricep is gonna wrap around it, go down to the collarbone, your shoulder, your neck, which is at the base of the collarbone, and your head. So it's gonna be like that. But the hard part is getting it up where you want it to be at. And that, that's always been the hard part for me is doing um, perspective and getting it to where I want it to be at. Like this back of this arm, 
is just what I showed you basically right here except you're looking at the outside of the arm you have this little piece here which is this that curves into this is your elbow right here and then that line or that bone from the elbow and then this is your hand so as I say if he's holding the arrow between that finger and it goes straight uh, this hand should be a little under the arrow because he's not going to be shooting it through his fingers so you have this, your bicep, not bicep, your, your delt, your bicep, and then your forearm. And as I said, that depends on how much of the fist you see, the hand you see, or how much of an angle it's turned. And that, that, that has always been a sore spot for me in doing that. I think that's that's looking good but I want to emphasize again I'm leaning like way I'm sitting like way over here looking at the picture where I should be sitting right in front of it because the glare is crazy and see I'm drawing really dark now which uh, maybe it's a sign of frustration it's just that I cannot see because of the glare okay so the abs come here I want to tuck the abs in instead of bringing it straight down you want to tuck that first one in like he's got no fat and then the next one will come out and then down like so same thing with this you tuck it in and then bring it down because your abs they actually going back to my paper if this is your torso here's your chest and here's your ab your abs don't go straight down like this and here's your waist your abs don't go straight down they actually they actually come in like so like that so you have that more of a, a triangle V coming down and then you go into your waist your waist comes like this and then that goes into your crotch and then your legs actually start right up here your buttocks are behind here but your legs go all the way from here and down so he might be a little too long, but changing the waist and the legs are, are pretty pretty simple. So there's your lats, and then there's your waist. And as I say, he is leaning over. Let me turn this one light on so I can balance that. That's probably hard for you guys to see, but I'm just checking it just for a second and then cutting it off. So let's do this. Let's crop that like about right there and then see what we have. Without the legs. Ah, to me, that's still a little long. Okay, let's chop some of this off. I like the stomach, so I'm going to keep the stomach. This is pretty cool right here. So. I said the waist comes just about right there, then that part of the hip, then this, and it's about the same. Come in, 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 and down. So your waist is here. Let's bring that up. That's looking a little better, better, better. Let's throw the legs in there. And then, of course, again, with the knee on the ground. There's a calf drawing through. Of course, drawing through means just you won't be able to see this. But you just draw through it to make sure your shape is right, and then you erase the part that you don't need. Bring that knee out a little bit more, bring it down, and then here's your foot. Bent. So, bringing the ground, this is going to be on the ground, that's going to be on the ground. So again, bring your foot here, 
And to do a foot is just like half a triangle. So if I did this, you'd have a whole triangle like that. So just half a triangle basically. And then you add details to it later. I'll usually round it off for the part as for the bent part. And then calf your knee. And that's kind of close, except it's low down here. And then that. So work with this crotch a little. Crotchety old man. Like that. I think that's looking pretty good. I have to work with this because I have too many dark lines. But for the time being, let's see if I can do something with the head. Tilt the head to where I like it. Is that tilted too much? No, I think that's good. Now, as I say, this right here. This. And that, that's a lot of lines to ink. One thing I notice about some ink pens or brushes, because I use a lot of the, the, the fabric Castell or the, um, what is this one? This is this Artist Loft. This is one of the low budget ones that I would say. But the thing is when you ink, when you draw dark, when you draw dark, a lot of lines, then you turn around and you come and you ink over the line, especially the line that you want. Then you turn around and erase that. Sometimes your your marker will erase with the with the pencil. To me, that's a sign of a bad marker. So where was I? Okay, so bring this bicep up a little bit more and maybe have that not up so much chest and this is the hand and then a lot of times I will say to people stop and look at stop walk away and then look at your drawing so let's do this let's take this hand out of here let's take this arm out of here and when you stop and walk away to, and you come back and you see your drawing, you'll see some mistakes that are made. Like, let's just say, put it here, the bicep, that bicep, that belt. And then, but I still want the hand here. It's going to go back again and then out. I'm just concerned about this trice. Um, Delt where it should be at before I, the final inking. So, and again, arrow like that. That looks good to me. So, what I want to do is I actually want to walk away myself and then come back and then see what I have. So, I'm going to cut the tape and then turn some more lights on so I can see. And then come back and see what I have to fix. So, before I go, this is another secret at this point uh, where the collarbone meets. Back to my paper again. You have the collarbone right here. And then there's a V. Where this comes down from this, like if you do a triangle, you do that and you add another triangle. And that's where your, your three ribs will show that go out into the lats like that so this is why i did that so you have your ribs here this is for people that are extremely built and then your lats are will come from behind that all right let me pause this for a second and look okay so let me just work with this a little bit because i want it to be a little more defined This is going to be more flatter here. I don't want it to look flat, but in the bicep, it's going to be because this is in the front, this is actually going to cover the bicep, which is going to be a 
about right there. But I'll fix all this in the wash as I always do when I do these. I'll speed it up when I ink it and then go from there. And if there's something I need to say while I'm inking, then we I'll just just stop it and ink it. But let's let's do the hands real quick. Let's do the hands. Since I just did a video on hands, how to draw hands for comics, the hands need to look good. So you bend your fingers, you have your thumb, and that actually comes here and then down. And now once I ink this, it'll look a little better. And then you have this first one, first finger. Second one is going to come out a little further. And then you're going to see just some of the front of the fingers. It'll show better when I ink it. Third, you want to start bending, bending them up. And your fourth right there. So as I said, you, you're going to see some of the front of the fingers like that. Because this guy's going to be holding a bow. So... I don't know, the bow might come off the paper. I don't think so. The top, I don't think so. We'll see. So in the back hand is, we're going to curve it again. And then down. This is going to come down like that. I know it's hard to see because I've got so many dark lines, which is why I said earlier, you don't want to do a dark pencil. But the fact that this my light is making so much glare and I need to turn this light off because I'm not sure if that actually messed up for you guys or not. Hopefully it didn't. Hopefully it didn't, but I'll, I'll correct it in the wash. So here's my arrow. And hopefully the camera's still running. And I'll create some kind of good Arctic killer, dealer, arrowhead or something. I don't know. I'll create something when I when I ink it. So I think that's looking pretty good. I'll get ready to ink this thing. Let's see what I can do with a bow. I'll create some kind of bow. Nice bow so it won't be just a standard looking bow. Or maybe it will be because the whole thing is the position and not the weapon. So, I will pause it here and then do the rest in the speed drawing. Okay, there you go. I'm going to stop right here. So I couldn't figure out what kind of arrowhead I wanted to put on there. And um, so I just put some kind of energy arrow and covered it up with the little Kirby craggles. So I want to apologize on my ink lines because when I started inking it, when I ink, I usually turn my page to make it smooth. But I tried to not turn the page so that you guys wouldn't get dizzy. But I'm not a a standstill inker as you can see I have to turn my page so yeah I'm gonna leave it at that and um, I had to add some line weight to it 
after I erased it all, you see what you what you really have. Then you add line weight, and I did a a video on adding line weight to your drawings to make it a little more exciting or dynamic. I forgot what I called it, but anyway, I'm going to leave the link at the very end of this. Also, the um, link where I did hands. I showed you how to do fists in one part, and then the other part I did closed hands or open hands. So I'll leave the link to that too. So. You guys can check that out. And if this is your first time checking out my videos, please go look at my channel because I have a lot more good stuff. I get a lot of great comments on people that are um, saying that they've looked at a lot of videos and they didn't really learn anything. And looking at mine, they learned how to draw right away. And I appreciate that. But I don't want you guys to just stop on one video. I want you guys to check out the channels so that you can uh, learn to draw more. It's not about... Uh, me getting views is about me teaching you guys how to draw and if you enjoyed one video if you got something out of one video then you can get a lot more out of more videos so I think that's gonna be it on this one leave a comment if you liked it Leave a comment if you didn't like it um, subscribe and then tell friends if you're an artist and you saw this I'm sure you've got artist friends so I say please tell them so they can see it because yeah I do want to get more subscribers because I want to teach more and uh, show more of my work so with that, I'm going to stop rambling, and uh, I'll let you go with that. And this is the end of the video.